ice cutter that takes the seat. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to Hard Space Shipbreaker. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you already know about this game. I've uh, been watching a few people play it, and I actually find it quite interesting, and decided to finally get, go ahead and get it, and I had some fun with it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, try to uh, pay off some debt. I was going to say some earn some money, but that's not going to happen. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this is uh, actually something that's kind of right up my alley. One of the things I did when I was a kid was uh, one of my hobbies was actually taking things apart. So this is kind of kind of good. So uh, one of the, I have played a little bit already. I did the career in a couple of ships just to figure everything out. And uh, one of the things I didn't realize at the beginning was, as you can see, where my HUD is at the bottom there, it actually says processor and barge and some will say furnace. And I didn't realize that. And I was sending stuff down to the barge that should have gone to the furnace and stuff to the furnace that should have gone over to salvage. And anyways, uh, let's go ahead and have some fun here, shall we? I definitely gotta admit the way that you got this game is really good. Music's great, good, and of course, the uh, video is really nice. Oh, I already have that unlocked. That's interesting. Oh yeah, because I skipped the tutorial. But anyways, so yeah, if you don't know about this, uh, there are different points that you cut. The yellow ones, for instance, and they help you disassemble a ship. Some ships are pressurized, some have reactors. As you can see, this is pressurized. That's what the green's for, so I will have to depressurize it and all that fun stuff. But let's go ahead and get this nice cell off. That wasn't enough. Oh! Getting trying to get used to the controls here. I actually gotta check my mouse here. No. I got a DPI switch on my mouse and sometimes it gets a little a little awkward. Okay, and we'll just send that down to here if we can. Oh, that's not good. It's just a little damage, it's still good, it's still good. It's getting salvaged anyways, who cares? Uh, yeah, so, go on here, and we'll take this apart, and hopefully I don't destroy anything or blow myself up. I've already had a few incidences already, uh, needless to say, oh, that's wrong, tether. Uh, needless to say, I've uh, been electrocuted, uh, trying to cut through electrical equipment that before ripping out of the ship, and, uh, oh yeah, uh, I didn't know about the cutting torch overheating, and now I realize that I gotta start worrying about oxygen soon. Uh, there are different game modes. I was gonna go with the open shift where it's unlimited oxygen, unlimited uh, shift time, but I figured might as well go with this because after all, I can, I can buy clones, right? It's just more debt that I have to pay. Yeah, let's get you out of here. Come on. Okay. Uh, playing zero G is fun. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to get oxygen too. So let's get this one off and then we'll head to the hab. I'm getting all confused because uh, control and shift are kind of swapped. You know, control is stabilized but shift is down. Okay, I'm gonna go like that and bring that down. I know my sensitivity is way off, but now I gotta go run to here and spend some credits and see what we can get. Oh, uh, that's what I mean. I go hit control and it slows me down. Alright. Now it kind of makes me wonder how big some of these ships we can get are. I know we have a lot of money to pay off, and that's the, the great thing about having a job. At least we don't have to pay taxes, right? We just have an obscene loan to pay off. Alright, I've never actually bought stuff here, so let's see. Interact. Uh, need buy tethers. I need oxygen. Alright, and how do I get out of here? Uh, uh, 
There we go. It's tip top. Okay, now for the fun part. I gotta pressurize this thing. Or I could just cut right through the wind window and just uh, let explosive decompression do its job. Definitely have to upgrade my jetpack, and I'll probably do that after this shift. So as you can see, it's in danger. It's telling me that it's pressurized. So where is that airlock? Uh, it's on the other side. All right, let's see here. Oh, let's actually yeah. grab these antenna. These are worth a few bucks. I have no idea how much this stuff is worth, but I know on the f first ship I completely salvaged and I, I went through it, took all the lights off and everything. I made like two and a half million credits, so that was pretty good from what I've seen people do. Of course, my uh, daily fees were half a million, but you know, gotta spend money to make money, right? Or in this case, gotta go in debt to, to pay off debt. Okay, there's the airlock. Okay, now I know I know how to do this. This is pretty simple. You just activate the airlock. I gotta go inside. And I gotta find an atmospheric res regulator to depressurize it. Kind of brings me back to the days of Hellion, except for the fact that we're not orbiting a destroyed system. Okay. And see, all this stuff here, apparently I can salvage too and get a little bit extra money set to... Oh, I can actually pick this stuff up. Cool. I guess I should wait until I actually need it. Alright, um... I'm gonna close that. I don't think that really matters. And we go and depressurize. And we are good. Okay, now... I have a reactor I gotta deal with in here too, which is gonna be, I think, oh, that's the wrong button. Right in there somewhere, yeah, right up top. So we'll deal with that in a minute. Let's see if we can get these uh, panels off, actually. No, hmm. Well, I keep hitting tab to bring up the scanner, I don't know why. Uh, let me see what I can do here. Okay, there's. Those two there, but I don't think that's gonna take the whole front off. You can try it though. Nah, uh, let's not use that. Even though this will heat up faster than that one. But I want to see if this will actually disconnect from the front so I can pull the chairs out. Hang on, I gotta adjust my sensitivity on my mouse. I've got one of those uh, adjustable mouses, mice. Uh, it's got a DPI switch, you can actually sort of adjust pressure, uh, the speed. Okay, that is not coming off. What are you? I have no idea. Hmm. What would be the best way to do this? Because I won't be able to get stuff to the airlock. I know it's a pain in the butt. Uh, let me have a look and see what I can find. I found them. They're hiding back here. So these should actually hold the floor on. There's one there, and there's one there. And, is that it? No, it's not. Hmm. All right, let me cut around for a bit and I'll see what I can find. Okay, I did actually be able to get the floor loose, but I am running low on shift time here. All right, let's see if we can get some of this salvaged here. Or is this going to the processor? Okay. Uh, there should be, uh, it's all one processor. Okay, I want to see if there's a light on there I could deal with. But I don't care. We gotta make some money because we're running out of time here. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing here. Let's uh, pull you out. I want you to cancel that tether because we don't need it. And off we go. Okay. So now this stuff has gotta go to the barge. This stuff is actually worth money. Uh -huh. That's a little light. I have no idea how much those were worth, but I know I had to pull a lot of them off the last ship I tried to do. Okay. I have no idea if I'm not going to be able to get that reactor out. Unless... Uh, let's see, where is the reactor? It's in here. Hmm. I don't like this. I think I just cut the wrong thing. Oh well. I've considered this a loss. Uh, I got oxygen here, I'll take. 
Alright, where's the oxygen? There's the oxygen. Okay, now let's see if we can get this reactor out somehow. It is in here. Uh, this can be stupid, but let's go for it. Let's see if we can just pull it right up the bottom because that thing's actually worth a lot of money. Oh, good, 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 good. Come on, get out of here. Tether supplies running low. No, oh. oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, did I destroy the reactor? What did I destroy? Uh oh. Hmm. I'm doing lousy. <laughs> Very lousy. Alright, can I actually pull this out? Uh, seeing. Oh! I did not know that. Uh, processor. Okay, what else we got here? Uh, I'm losing this one. Well, I won't say losing this, but... Uh, I'm new here, that's all I'm going to say. First day on the job. Mind you, I think I took like an hour working on the other one. I didn't actually have a shift timer on it because it was part of the tutorial, more or less. Did that come free? No, it didn't. Okay, I got a minute. All right, fine. Let's just get some furniture here then. Grab what we can. Again, I don't know how much they're worth, but they are something. And oh, that ain't good. Well, 30 seconds left, forget it. Uh, I'm not going to get anything else. Let's go back and get some upgrades, shall we? Make a faster jetpack. This thing is so slow. Uh, it's kind of hard to do that when you're under pressure. They don't give you much for a shift timer. Yeah, I'm heading back. I don't know if it ends the shift automatically, but we'll find out. Oh, ends it automatically. Okay. That's actually not bad. What did I destroy? A crate. Yeah, I saw that on the ceiling. Panel. Uh, oh, I must have destroyed a light. Oh no, I don't know how much that was worth. But yeah, I got that reactor. That was a big one there. So, yeah, I made a million. And I had to pay half a million in fees. There you go, half a million. Like, look at that. 120,000 on rent to cutter. That's almost as much as the interest I'm paying on my loan, my debt, I should say. But let's go in here and see what we have. So these are my quotas. So I gotta get a power cell, I got furniture, here and credits. I have no idea what the quota's for, but let's have a look at our equipment. So I got 380 points. Um, that's gotta be repaired. Uh, yeah, we'll repair that. That's fine. I might have to upgrade this just to get some better speed. Fuel capacity or speed. Let's go for speed. And I have enough for another upgrade. Now, I don't know what this is all about. That just tells me what stuff is, I think. Uh, let's see what we have in here then. Uh, range. That actually might come in handy. Alright. Well, there we go. I think that's a good place to call it for the first episode. I <laughs> made myself look like an idiot. I believe it or not, I actually did worse than the first time I played. But here we are. So, yeah, that is that. Uh, we have uh, certification levels to... Uh, oh, that's what the quota is for. And that just gets you higher class ships. Which are worth more money as you go. You know, I was going to end it here, but I was looking at the, the recording time. I think we've got time to, to, to sully our reputation a little bit more and try one more ship. Uh, I'm actually going to let me continue salvaging that. Maybe, let's see. Uh, sure. Because I left so much out there. 
Okay, uh, oh yeah, uh, we'll come back for Thrusters of Fuel later. So this is the failure that we had finished. Okay, I did notice in the, the ship catalog too, when you go choose ships, there are, uh, uh, time, time zone, like one day, three days, I don't know if that's how many, how many days you have to actually salvage, oh, it did come loose. Sweet. Let's see if we can pull it out of the way. I know it's the uh, controls don't work too well. Or, I don't know if it's really access to something like my computer, but I find it's hard to use the mouse at the same time. Or when you got something tethered, maybe that's just part of the game. But I do notice that this is loose. So we'll lift this out. And then we'll send that to the processor. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, what is that? That's a repair kit. Let's actually grab that. Okay, and what is that? That is... I have no idea. Actually, that might be fuel, is it? It's not letting me pick it up, so whatever. Okay, let's go down here and start cutting out some more panels. Shall we? Uh, let's see here. Mm-hmm. It's kind of hard to tell where they have everything. Let's go in here and see what we have. Okay, I can take this one out. Uh, I do know there's something in the back that we gotta take out as well. So let's cut this. And cut this. And that should just push right out. Just like so. Let's grab that light. That light doesn't go there, the light actually goes down to the barge, which is right there. Okay. Uh, there is a light, I don't know if it actually uses power. Where's the light again? Uh, nope, that's not it. Nope. I don't know. Uh, let me have a look at that actually. It was L. Who would have thought, huh? Okay, what are you? Oh, pick up. Hang on, hang on. What is that? Data drive. Cool. No idea what that is. Uh, that is a health kit. I don't need that. I think I can actually put that in my inventory. No, nope, apparently I use it. Okay, let's see what else we can get. pull out of here, actually. I got the light. Okay, this is all going to the processor. Okay. And... Uh, yo. Where are you going? You're going to the furnace. What, does it take it off when I... When I go and use another tether? I don't know. Alright, that's uh, moved everything around. Okay, let's get this uh, engine out of here. Okay, where are those marks? Come on. Some things we're supposed to cut here to get, ready, get these things out of here. Or is this just all going to the processor anyways? I think so. Scrap it. Goodbye me. Oh, that's the wrong button. And come on. Oh, fine. I'll do it myself then. Maybe not. Alright, back to the... I gotta get jetpack fuel anyways. Go leave my mess there. Alright, I'll bring you back when I'm refilled. Okay, I am back. I have no idea how much money I put myself into debt buying stuff, but I did. So, now apparently from what I can see, you can actually take these things down to like individual parts. But I just want to see if there's anything else here I've got to deal with first. What are you? Oh. Something explosive. Aha. That could have been interesting. We'll do that another time. Oh, hello, there's one here too. Don't mind if I do. Alright, let's get that work order back up. I have no idea what that is. There's apparently a, a power cell somewhere. And what are you? I think that's what you are. Oh, hello, what are you? A Q. 
key. Okay, what's the key for? Now the question is, how do I get this out? Like, can I just cut right through here? I think I can, right here. Oh, oh. Come on, where are you? You know what? Let's actually turn this on. Maybe this will help me. Uh, it's not helping too much. There's supposed to be like little things here you can cut. Unless I just gotta grab it. Oh! That works. Oh, this goes to the processor. This goes to the processor, not me. Oh, where to go? Where to go? Lost my salvage. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh my god. This is why I'm not a shipwrecker. There's a shadow. That's not it. Uh, I've lost my bulkhead. Uh, that's around here somewhere. Let me find it. I found it. The scanner actually helped me find it too. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, fly away to run away debris. Where are you? Come on, go on. Ah, it's gone. Alright, forget it. It's just a bulkhead. Just a thing inside I care about. Definitely an interesting choice of music for a game like this. So now, I should be able to just yank this thing out. Yes. And this goes to the barge. Okay, uh, I believe this is the power cell. And I believe this is something that could probably result in a clone if I'm not careful. Let's see what that was. I think that was a power cell. Nope. I have no idea what that was. Okay, what else we got in here? Okay, all for processor. I gotta say, I love watching that. Strip down a piece, and strip down a chunk of a ship and just watch it go flying into a furnace. Okay, now we gotta go in here. And what are you? Uh, I have no idea, but it's worth money. Oh. Alright, I guess the back end was uh, the power cell. Cool. Alright, uh, I'm gonna strip some lights out of here, because uh, all these little things down here are lights too. Gets a few bucks and I'll bring you back when I'm gonna cut the rest of this down. Okay, well, I got what I could. So we're running short on time here, so let's go ahead and start getting rid of these. Actually, you know what? Let's use uh, the other uh, split saw. Right, let's go ahead and see if we can get right through all of these all at the same time. And then I could just take these chunks and stick them right in there. I did finish my work order, by the way. It is all complete. So that is good. Now, these actually should be free. Should be free. Uh, where are we going here? Processor. There we go. And there we do. There we do that. Uh, that kind of sucks, man. I want to see if we can tether them all together. There we go. Gotta love that daisy chaining them. <laughs> I love that. I uh, knew that wasn't gonna work. I don't know why I tried, but do that. Okay, and then this can go to the other side here. This goes to the processor as well. Now I know you can also increase the strength on the tethers too. Uh, that's not going to be enough. I think we might have to finish this up in the next shift because uh, definitely it makes some good money here. 
Let's see if I can get the other side here. Actually, I don't have any tethers. So that's not going to work. And we're going to be out in a minute. Let's see if I can do this quickly here. I don't think so. I'm going to run out of jetpack fuel. Or not jetpack fuel. Uh, time. I got a minute. Alright. And. Come on, come on. Uh, tethers. Uh, I hit the wrong button. Okay. Let's see if we can get that side off. Yeah, we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna get in here. We're gonna get back over to here. Now I don't have any racked or anything to worry about. Oh, damn it! That airlock uh, it was it was something I had trouble with last time, but that's fine. And I don't think the lights are really worth too much, so I don't really care too much. All right, is that gonna be enough? Let's find it. That chunk will come off. See if that doesn't come off. Perfect. Nice. It's like peeling a banana. Except for that airlock. This is what confused me, because it seems to be like this whole box is kind of holding the thing together. So I had trouble figuring it out. And if I bring up the scanner quickly, before my shift ends. 856, I didn't make much. Ooh, I made 16 cents on scrap. Cool. Alright. Down to 1.3 billion. So, I do have uh, some upgrades. Eee. Well, getting close to 1 million down. Uh, let's go see what we have for upgrades here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, and get this. Oh, that's for the laser cutter. Uh, heat capacity. I think I might actually do that. Just because uh, it does overheat when you're using a direct, direct beam. So let's go back out and continue our salvaging. Yes. And back at her. Of course, it's the same one. Now, what is that thing there? Oh, it's stuff that's already in there. I thought it was highlighting because it wasn't in there properly. Okay, what am I going to do here? I had trouble trying to figure this out. And the problem is, is half of it goes to the furnace. The other half goes to processing. Oh, I was still processing what I delivered yesterday. The only thing I could think of be something like this, but I know you can cut these too. What's on the other side here? Can I cut those? No, I can't. So this is the only thing I could think of. Let me do that. You can see the overheat meter meter on the side there, on the lower right. And this is the only thing I could think of. Is when I was trying to do this, is had to do it this way. I'm not gonna worry about taking the lights off. But yeah, there's two on the top, one on the top, one on the bottom, and then the one in the middle, and this basically holds everything together. It could be salvaged to the furnace, but that doesn't really... No. Actually, no. Okay, it's still attached. Oh, yeah. This one. And, of course, the one down below. So sure, sure make these things structurally sound, that's for sure. No, I don't know if this one has to come off too or not. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I've had to actually cut these things. Let's see if I can get smart here. Uh if I can hit the right keys. So for some reason I can't cut that one, but I can cut this one. So be it. And of course that didn't actually do anything for me. I actually have to melt it right off. So are you free now? Pull! Pull! Hmm. Oh, yeah. I got the one on the other side I gotta cut too, I think. 
let's see here. Helps if I cut the right thing, I guess. That one, and... Uh, oh, that was close. Believe me, it hurts, too. <laughs> I love the crackling, too, like a car engine. Uh, okay, is that free? No, it's not. Are you? No. Ah, hell, it just throw the whole thing in. No, that's not the way to do it. So I guess I do have to take this stuff off. See, that one doesn't want to go. And apparently... Melt the door, but I don't want to do that. Buster fuel. Take that, thank you. Hmm. Gotta be something. Ah. I keep hitting sh shift to stabilize for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, probably have it. Okay. Really? Okay, I guess I gotta cut everything off, so... Actually, there's one over there. And one here. I think this is actually that. I know I don't have to nitpick this. I can probably just throw the whole thing in there. Just take whatever I can get, but... Why not? There we go. Okay. You go to... Furnace? Sure. I won't complain. Okay, that's one side. So it's going to be kind of the same for the other side, so I'll, I'll take care of this and I'll bring you back when it's time for the airlock. Damn it! <laughs> I just set that piece into the processing and I didn't realize it was uh, for a furnace. But anyways, I'm suffocating and I'll be back. So here's an interesting one. I got the back end off here, but as you can see, the door itself goes to the furnace. But these, which I can't, got called the processor. So what I gotta do... See, that goes to the furnace as well. I guess I could put, send it all in, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? There goes a big chunk. Oh, it's gonna get jammed in there. Oh. Is it? It's a lot bigger than it looks. It's a good chunk of money right there. Well, we're just about done. I just got the airlock and this thing here, and I think... And I'm wondering if I'm just going to send the whole airlock in. But now that this is done, we can actually grab these high value items in here. What are you? Eh, uh, furnace. Sure. Whatever you are. I don't care. But I do care about these. Because these are worth money. I have no idea how much, but we're going to take them anyways. Oh. Ooh. That's coolant. That's. Careful. Careful. I can never figure out how these tethers work. Oh. And it seems to be that the object you're carrying orientates a reorient to your character. So that makes it easier. That's also a high value item and also a very dangerous item too. Uh, the coolant hasn't got me yet, but like I said, I have been electrocuted. I have been set aflame. Okay, dangers are gone. Oh, oh. Okay, so just a few more minutes left. Uh, I got some chairs and some cabinets and a few lights I'm gonna pull out of here, and then I'll bring you back for the finale. Oh, <laughs> it's not going in the furnace now, huh? Okay, I'm just about done here. It's actually another shift, no, the next shift for me, uh, of course, because, you know, I'm slow. But, anyways, uh, just pulling the window out of here, because this is actually something we do. Come on. Did I not cut it properly? I don't think I did. I think I missed it something here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, you are all free. Oh, right here. There we go. And that goes to furnace. Like so. It's a thick piece of glass. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's really much except for cabinets, and I think I'm going to be able to get them out of here. Uh, let's see, we have processor. Furnace. Uh, actually. 
got the sides off. Let's see if those are actually coming off now. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Not that one. Did cut him. Hmm. Something I'm missing here. Let's see, what do we got in here? Oh, okay, it is free. I need the big tethers for it. That's why. Hold on, what are you? Processor. Trying to make money here and not lose it. Okay, and you are good, so send you over there. And hopefully I don't go there as well. Now to get the front off. Let's see here. Take that light off. Yes, the light's on its way. Okay, let's see what we have here. Processor furnace. So I might have to actually just cut these off, I think. Now there's any way to actually get them off. Hmm. This could all actually go to the furnace. Just gotta get it off of the outside. Okay, what do we have here? There's gotta be something inside, maybe. Let me have a look. Shall we? Actually, I was gonna take these things out too. Not those. This. These are actually worth money. I think they're part of my quota too. I think they're actually considered furniture. Okay, there's one. And come on, come on. Get out of there. Like that. And let's see what else we got here. We got another one here. Come on. Kinda of twenty what kind of twenty fourth century technology is this? Got tethers that can't do the work for themselves. Yeah, let's see what else we got in here. There's got to be... Oh! Oh. Well, that's a good honor. We have a new satellite around Earth. Okay, what else can I do in here? Is that me? I think it was. Hmm. There's like no way to get this off either. Let me have a look around and see what I can do here. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm actually done with the thing finally. Uh, needless to say, I have wasted way too much time on this. So I'm probably not going to make any money off of this, but we'll find out. Uh, so I have got this thing all stripped out. I actually had to take all the panels out one by one to get rid of them. So we'll send that to processing. And this was just able to, I think, finally actually cut this thing apart. Now are you actually gonna come free? Probably not. It's kind of, kind of a tricky one. Like, what is connecting this? So I'm gonna. It's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that, but that'll work. Now is this free? No, it's not. I know this is. This can go to processing. There we go. Tether supplies are low. In other words, spend money, right? Okay, I want to see if this is actually free. No, it's not. Oh, it is too. Okay, cool. That is done, and this can go right to the furnace. Uh, there's probably some stuff that can go to the barge. I don't care. Finish this up. Took a while to start moving. And what do we have here? We'll go put that in the furnace. That in the furnace. And some more junk. Well, I don't know how much money I made. Probably not enough. I'm sure I'm still close to a billion dollars in debt. But, my first day on the job, what do you expect? Anyway, uh, that was actually pretty quick. Let's close that work order, not that I 
if it matters. I'm gonna go back here, and I can see my uh, grapple needs to be repaired. Alright, let's go and finish our shift. I don't know if I got any more LT out of this. I don't know if you actually get something for fully salvaging a ship. I think I missed a few pieces. I know I got a few debris float off into the wild blue yonder. Uh, so I think all this stuff that got destroyed was stuff that was already attached to stuff that I was salvaging. So I think that's what's going on here. Uh, but needless to say, uh, I am broke. Very broke. But I think this is a good place to call it here. Um, I'll carry this on in the next episode. And look at that, I only made $193,000 today. Yay! Only $999 billion to go. But with that, let's uh, see what we got for a quota. So I just gotta finish off one more work order objective. And then uh, this is done, I gotta earn more credits. So this is actually showing what I've earned and not, and not accounting for my spendings. So that's good. And then I just furnish her and that'll get me higher class ships. And as far as upgrades, I've got nothing. I'm going to go ahead and repair that. Uh, yes, we'll repair that. Ooh, that cutter needs a repair too. Uh, oh, uh, it's the wrong one. There we go. Yes. Alright, and with that, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.